Hey guys, welcome to another episode on how to use Ari, auto repair software. My name is Cameron, and here's what I have in store for you today. In this video, you will learn how to use everything labor related in our auto repair software. Log into the app, and first, you need to make sure you have already completed your company profile setup. If not, please check the description. There you will find a link with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your Ari Auto Repair app company profile. Before utilizing parts and labor information, pulling wiring diagrams, or performing any advanced operations, you must first select a vehicle from the database. So, let's navigate to the vehicle section in the main menu. If you add a vehicle outside the database, the necessary information won't be displayed. I will add a vehicle here by clicking the plus button. I need to specify the vehicle year. Make. Model. Engine type, submodel, and other options. Once you fill in the information, save the vehicle. This ensures you have access to the labor guides, labor estimates, and all relevant car information while working on it. Now that we have a saved vehicle, let's navigate to the labor guide section and proceed to the vehicle selector. Select the information for vehicle year. Make, model, engine type, submodel, and other options then click on Use This Vehicle. Here click on the M1 Parts and Labor Guides. The search bar on the left contains labor items with a breakdown of the standard vehicle sections on the car you are servicing. You can also use the search toolbar by entering the name or the part number. So for example, let's go to Brakes and then choose Parking Brake System. Once I have clicked on this, on the right side, you can navigate down to a specific system, parts, and car components. Let's click on parking brake cable. As you can see, now we have the option of adding the parts and labor by clicking on the add button. If you wish, you can also remove any of these by clicking on the remove button. Now that we have added these items, we will continue with the maintenance section by clicking here, next to the parts and labor. First, you have the indicator section. Here you can find important information. In the mileage breakdown labor guide, you will see what repair and maintenance you should perform depending on a car's current miles. If we click on a certain mileage, we can then add the labor and details. The same goes for the time section, with the most common repair being mandatory maintenance every 12 months. Now let's continue to the car fluids panel by clicking here. Similar to the parts and labor section, we can use the search toolbar or select and add the desired items from the left side menu. After we select one of these on the right side, we can see the necessary fluid type and volume that we can add. Once we have finished selecting our parts and labor, maintenance or fluids, we need to hit the transfer button. Down here, we can see the transferred items along with the quantity and working hours for these. At the end, click on create new job card with these items. We can also add a client or other info to this job card. We can see the amounts for parts and labor. We can add discounts and other paid amounts and deposit. Here we can see the profit. It is possible to add the customer's signature, attach pictures and files, and include warranty information and notes. Once this is complete, click Save and Continue. Now we can see our job card estimate, invoice, and gate pass for these. You have the option to send it to the client, share, or download each one of these. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can access all RE features by going pro. You can do this in RE settings. See you on the next one.